The luminosity of a star is given by this fancy looking equation. Radius of the star, this is probably in meters, length. Ma. Temperature of the star in kelvins. Sigma is some, don't know what fancy thing, well, a bunch of units there. So what's the base units of L? Uh, pi does not have units, so the ones that have units is R, Sigma, and T. So let's add up all, let's multiply all the units together. Radius is in meters square. Sigma is watts meter K negative 4. And temperature is Kelvin to the power of 4. Okay, then mm, let's see. Uh, this one will be... Okay, we need to cancel out some stuff. Oh. This k to the power 4 and this k power 4, when they multiply together, it will be gone. Meter square, meter negative 2 is gone. All that's left is w. Watt. What is watt in base i unit, si unit? We just did it up here. So if you want to find uh, what is basically power, uh, there is, yes, there is quite a few formulas for power. Power... The most general one is energy over time. It can also be derived to be force times velocity. You can choose which one you want to stick with. But if you want to stick with it, um, I guess force times velocity also can, right? Okay, now we do force times velocity. So the unit will be kg, mass, acceleration. Velocity is meter per second. That will give us kg m square s negative 3. So that is kgm squared as 93, this one. So yes, remember the equations. Power is the one that's relevant for this. And remember, power is what? Hey, let's move on to the next one. 